The first route is what we call investment, and then our friends at the Ford Foundation says, that's too economistic, can't you come up with another name? So we also called it adding value in some of the more popular publications. And the idea here was that humans don't only uh, depreciate nature. They don't only draw down nature's assets and reduce the amount. They can also add to them. They can also appreciate nature in the appreciation, meaning not only like I appreciate you, you're a great person, but also in the way that capital can appreciate over time. People can do things to improve and increase the total stock of natural capital. And I'll give you a few examples of that uh, in a moment. Many uh, environmentalists actually don't tend to pay a lot of attention to that possibility. They tend to view humans as just an unmitigated negative force. And I want to suggest that we can have positive as well as negative impacts. A second route for building natural assets in the hands of low-income communities and low-income individuals is to democratize assets, to uh, democratize access to these assets or redistribute them. This is a more controversial way to do it because while investment means you're increasing the entire asset pie, redistribution means you're you know, taking a slice from this person and, and uh, shifting it to that person. But it's happened a lot through history and I'm going to give you some examples. A third uh, route is what economists call internalization and what uh, we also describe as capturing benefits. The basic idea here is that often people are engaged in stewardship of assets. They're taking care of natural resources, forests, watersheds, fisheries, lands, etc. And in doing so, they're generating benefits for other people. Those things in economics are called positive externalities or uh, spillover benefits. And they don't get rewarded for those benefits they provide to others. And what we uh, discuss, and again, I'll give you a few examples of how this can be done, is that if one develops ways in which to reward people for their stewardship of natural assets, one can both strengthen their incentives to keep uh, providing those benefits and at the same time improve their living standards. And finally, the last route is what we call appropriation or defending the commons. This refers to resources that are currently treated as open access resources. Open access to economists and, and legal scholars means there are no property rights. For example, currently the ability to dump uh, carbon dioxide into the Earth's atmosphere is an open access resource. Anybody can do it. The atmosphere is nobody's property. There's no charge for doing it. Um, and uh, the appropriation route involves efforts by people to, in effect, create property rights, to constrain access to those resources so as to protect the resources. And in so doing, by doing that, by constructing those rights, I'll argue that one can also build assets and improve people's economic well-being.